Hello again from Central West Canine Breeding. In today's episode we will consider the sire, its management and semen assessment. In previous episodes we have spoken a lot about the brood bitch and the techniques required to accurately determine the optimum time for breeding, particularly regarding progesterone testing and vaginal cytology. An essential part of maximising your chances of a successful conception is of course to ensure that the sire is healthy and producing normal semen of sufficient quality and quantity on the day of mating which is capable of producing a successful conception. With frozen semen breedings, semen is processed with a minimum of 100 million normal living motile sperm as the inseminate dose. This is the accepted industry standard for frozen semen processing. The calculations to arrive at this breeding unit removes the percentage of abnormal sperm and assesses the motility survival after the freezing process. Consequently, only the strongest normal motile sperm are present in the inseminate dose. Even if you are using your sire for natural mating or artificial insemination, you should have his semen assessed to ensure it is capable of producing puppies. So, how do we assess your dog's semen? It is important to consider the sire's age, experience, workload, nutrition and physical condition when making any assessment. One sample may not be sufficient and an assessment is better made over two or three collections. We look at volume of the collection. This is of course related to the size of the dog, but the volume collected is always recorded so we can look back and track any changes with subsequent collections. The appearance, whether it is milky, suggesting a high concentration of sperm, watery, a low sperm concentration, or bloody, and did the blood appear throughout the collection or only at the end. Motility. Total motility is a percentage assessment of the total sperm moving whereas progressive motility is the number of sperm moving along a straight path when viewed from the warm stage of a microscope. Ideally, motility should be greater than 75%, whereas progressive motility is of course lower. Total count will vary according to the size of the dog, testicular size, the frequency of collection, current health and physiological state. Morphology is assessed as normal versus abnormal percentages. However, it is important to drill down and determine both primary abnormalities and secondary abnormalities. This is useful in assessing the origin of any testicular dysfunction or deterioration of semen quality. Abnormal sperm have a lesser chance of successful egg penetration. However, there is no direct correlation between abnormal percentages and conception rates. It is highly significant, however, when calculating the normal living motile sperm during frozen semen processing. Primary abnormalities indicate altered sperm cell production. This can be the result of inflammation of the testicles, hormone therapy, or physiological imbalances. We may see large heads, small heads, double heads, pointed heads, thickened neck, coiled or kink midpiece, double or triple tail. Secondary abnormalities occur with abnormal epididymal function or disuse. If sperm has stayed in the epididymis for a long time or they may occur as induced artifacts during handling of the semen sample. We see bent heads, detached heads, cytoplasmic droplets, bent midpiece, 
coil tail, detached tail or folded tail. It is important to be aware of the factors that may affect semen quality. This is particularly true with the high demand sires who are collected regularly for frozen semen. The correct management of such sires is important to maintain semen quality and keenness. The sire who may only be required once or twice a year should have his semen assessed prior to the expected time of the bitch coming into season. Secondary abnormalities are common with disuse and semen quality may be poor. Such assessment may allow for specific supplements to be used to improve semen quality and viability. Talk to our staff at Central West Canine Breeding about the options available. The factors affecting semen quality include the age of the sire, whether old or juvenile, current health status, particularly infection or parasitism, hormonal influences, for example thyroid inflammation or reduced thyroid function, prostate disease or enlargement, and the time since last ejaculation. Ambient temperatures, cold temperatures may reduce sperm production and heat can kill sperm. Overuse, unhappy dogs, cage confinement may induce testicular atrophy. As with the estrous cycle of the bitch, the hormonal control of semen production is complex. It involves at least eight different hormone modulators which must be in balance. These are in turn affected by many external factors that can affect the hormonal control of semen production. Such factors include changes of routine, exercise level, diet, sire sensibility, sire expectations, stud master tolerance, and inbreeding coefficients. The sperm is of course equally as important as the egg for a successful conception. Ensure your sire's semen is assessed regularly or at least prior to an upcoming mating. At Central West Canine Breeding, we digitally record every semen collection and archive videos for comparison should problems subsequently develop. Contact our staff for further details. Until next time, stay healthy and enjoy your healthy dogs.